Churchill to an unguided missile blaze early through on the inner Cadenante. They're all safely over the first. Don Samurai looking reluctant already. Cadenante, Santa Concerto Island Chief, unguided missile, Jati McGeorge. And then we've got uh, Nathan Lad followed through by King Lucifer and Eulogy, an Earth Mover and Betty's Boy and Calling Wild and Shore Party and Tamarindo and Step on Air. And uh, then Pine Thine and Random Harvest as they take the second. And they're all safely over the second, although Don Samurai was very untidy. Swing uh, at the top of the hill and race away from us. And it's Jamie Osborne on Caddy Nonante, who shows the way. It's the jolly old favourite is the leader, Caddy Nonante, from Santa Concerto. Island Chief towards the inside. Narvan led not too far behind the front uh, three or four as they clear the next. And now head down the back towards the water jump, Caddy Nonante. Well, a couple of lengths to Santa Concerto. Last year's winner, unguided missile in third from Narvan Lad as they take the water jump. And these are followed by Island Chief and Jathy with towards the outside Betty's Boy. An open ditch coming up now. This is number five, and it's Cadu Nolente approaching it, trying to meet it on a big stride and stood right off it from Santa Concerto as the others clear it. Tamarindo has uh, dropped towards the tail of the field. Dom Samurai is completely tailed off and doesn't want to know. And the only one ahead of him, uh, the nearest one to him, is Fine Tyne, who's well behind at this stage. They clear the next plane fence, climbing all the time now towards another open ditch and it's Canu Nonante from the Scottish Raider Santa Concerto. Then Narben Lad now into third place from Unkided Missile and Island Chief towards the inside and then behind these leaders Jaffe from King Lucifer and then calling wild towards the outside as they clear this one back to Eulogy and Mac George is on the inside. Tamarindo still out the back door as they reach the top of the hill and it's Cadu Nonante who continues to bowl along quite happily in front from Santa Concerto, Island Chief, then Narben then Lad and Betty's boy an unguided missile towards the outside. So they come down towards fence number eight and uh, behind these King Lucifer midfield, Eulogy midfield, Mac George the striped jacket running the rail, Jatib just with it, and Earth Mover jumping well today, Earth Mover don't want to tempt fate, Earth Mover. Then uh, Shaw Party and uh, Random Harvest is peeping closer as they take the eight. And uh, step on air a little bit untidy. There goes fine time. The grey at the top of the picture is Don Samurai, who'll get round in his own time, perhaps. Meanwhile, is Cadid Amante, who uh, is keen to lead, has the edge here, to Santa Concerto and up on the outside, Narvin Lab 1, 2, and 3. Island Chief made a bit of a mistake at one of the fences going away. Bet his boy getting a little bit closer now as they swing and face number 10. They've completed a circuit in this William Hill National Hunt chase and head towards what uh, is the 10th, was the first, will be the 19th and last next time round. More on four. It's Cadet Anante, the inside, Santa Concerto, and then Narden Ladder, wave of three in the air together. Island Chief and Betty's Boy and Charty, an unguided missile. And King Lucifer, who's been very quiet, but getting a bit closer, and McGeorge and calling wild. And Eulogy and Step on Air, and then uh, Earth Mover. Then Random Harvest from Tamarindo and Shore Party and Far Tide, and a distance behind Don Samurai. Head away towards the 11th, coming into it, and still Jamie Osborne dictating things. He likes to be in charge, and they're playing his tune. He leads on Cadenonante. Santa Concerto has been in second. It was this story last time round. Island Chief getting closer, bet his boy and Northern Lad and King Lucifer follow. Random Harvest is finding it very hard work. He's completely lost his position, also in trouble passing the stands with Earth Mover, Unguided Missile, and Calling Wild. Meanwhile, over that, Cadu Nonante is down at that. Cadu Nonante a fall, and there was another one went. Calling Wild was a fall or two. And now they head towards the water jump, and it's Island Chief from Betty's Boy. These two left one and two. And then behind these, Nar then Ladger, Thieve towards the outside, followed by Cat Santa Concerto. Step on Air is beginning to work himself into a promising position, goes up into a about sixth or seventh place in the yellow jacket as they clear the next open ditch where, where Betty's boy made a mistake. Eulogy, a jolting blunder back in the field. They continue to a plain one now, and it's Island Chief from Betty's boy, then Nar, then Lad, Jathib, who's under a very high, hard right-hand drive, and these are clear of Santa Concerto, and Jathib made a bad mistake there. King Lucifer is still just about in touch. Climbing all the time then on the far side towards another big open ditch, and it's Island Chief from Betty's boy in the noseband in the headgear here in third is now then lad for Jenny Pittman. King Lucifer moving up into fourth place, going well. And then Santa Concerto from Jathib and Mac George and Step on Air and Unguided Missile and Eulogy as now they reach the top of the hill and it's Island Chief making the best of his way home from Betty's Boy in second. Now then lad driven along in third place. King Lucifer now comes off the bridle in fourth and then Santa Concerto in fifth. They're getting well strung out and Island Chief, the horse in front, probably going just best.
Bit of a shadow cast over Jamie Osborne, still on the ground following his fall. Tamarindo has been pulled up. Don Samurai has been pulled up. Shaw Party has been pulled up. But as they come down towards the third from home in the William Hill National Hunt chase, it is Island Chief in the grey and red who leads to the yellow-coloured petted boy and then Northern Lad. King Lucifer is starting to pick up. He, uh, step on air, has stepped through the fence and has been pulled up. Uh, King Lucifer has already a winner here. King Lucifer won the Kim Muir, closing in four here. We are to add. And it's Island Chief who takes it in the lead too. In second place, Betty's boy, and then back in third, we have Narvin Ladd, and then behind these, making a bit of ground on the outside, is Mac George, who tries to get going. They make the final turn now, and it's Island Chief under Brian Storey driving into the lead. Betty's boy, Stormy Norman in second, Northern Ladd, a hard drive in third, behind these, King Lucifer, and then Mac George. They're the famous five. This is the last, over which Island Chief stepped through it and gives the uh, lead to Betty's boy, who says thank you very much and goes on. But it's Island Chief who's trying to come back for more. Northern Ladd's back in third, Mac George in four. It's going to be Betty's boy who holds on. Second though, Northern Lab was third, Mac George four, King Lucifer five, Judge Eve six, Unguided Missile seven, Santa Concerto eight, ninth was uh, Random Harvest and Eulogy was the only other one to finish in this three mile one furlong away.